Believe it or not, this is something that still comes up on a regular basis. So a lot of times when we're working with these teams remotely, we'll ask them to send us the materials and we can convert the DVD to whatever format we need and we can go from there. And so I just want to talk about kind of what's best practices, how you can do it in a fail safe way that it won't mess up the send. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my DVD and I'm going to take a, an external DVD player because what laptop has a DVD drive anymore? And uh, I will get that set up. This one, I actually had to go from USB the big one, that's mini USB to USB-C because this laptop, Dell XPS 13 2018, only has USB-C ports. So we got that going. Let's get that, this disk loaded into the drive and then we'll go to the desktop here to see kind of what's going on. So the first thing that I always do is whenever I get a DVD disk, I always just copy all the contents. I hate working with disks. The read speed on these is really slow, so if you're transferring files, it takes forever. Um, you never want to work right off the DVD disc if you can avoid it, and most of the time you can. And so the first thing I'll do is I'll go to my desktop, create a new fo folder, and I'll just call it DVD, and then I will find the DVD, and here's the important part. So right now I'm looking at the folder, looking at the contents of the DVD, and there's a folder in here called video underscore TS. The short answer for how to send a DVD electronically is take that folder and just send that entire folder and everything in it to the person you're trying to send it to. Make a folder on your desktop, control A to make sure you, you have selected everything in this folder and then just copy it, drag it, and drop it into a location on your laptop. And that's how you get all the contents from the DVD into your laptop. Okay, so an eternity later, that's finally all done. So I can get rid of this guy. And now let's look at the laptop. We've got the video underscore TS folder. It's got a whole bunch of gibberish stuff in here. Um, let's take a look at it in a detail view so we can kind of get a better feel for what's in here. You'll see a whole bunch of files that are have the file name video underscore TS and then some that are named VTS underscore 0102.vob. Thing that happens to me the most is that people will look in here and say look these files are big the, there's three of them that are like a gig uh, each and then one that's like 150 megabytes those must be the video files and I'll send that the problem is if we take that if we take just the VTS underscore whatever the dot VOB files and try to edit that together in say Premiere um, or Final Cut what ends up happening is for whatever reason at the gaps in between those two files, we're losing like five seconds or three seconds of text or speech. And invariably, a clip that a client wants me to make happens at that gap. And so uh, what we need is we need all the files that are in this folder in order to have one playable video. And so what are the different ways that you can send it? There's kind of two main ways that we recommend. The first is you can use Dropbox to send these. You make a folder in Dropbox and then name it uh, so-and-so DVD, like witness DVD, and inside make another folder that's called video underscore TS. So that way it looks exactly like what we have right here uh, on the laptop. And then in there, just control A or command A to select everything and drag that right into your Dropbox folder so that way you have everything in there. The other way to do it would be to zip the video underscore TS folder and then send it through another sending service. Like if you, we use wetransfer.com, um, you send it or Hightail it, I think they're called now, is another one. Um, any of like the large file sending services, if you wanna send big files, the easiest way to do it is usually by zipping all the contents of a folder together and sending it that way. So to zip it, let's, let me show you how you do that. You can go to your laptop, right click or two finger tap on the folder, the video underscore TS folder, and then you would send to compressed zipped folder. It'll start compressing, basically it's packaging everything together. So instead of it being a folder with like eight files inside, it's just gonna be one compressed folder. And then you can just drag and drop and send that to whoever you need to send it to. Let me open up a browser and we could take a look at what the kind of the we transfer uh, process looks like. So then I'll open up a browser, I'll go to our sending site is gtc.wetransfer.com. And so when you get there, um, you'll see an area where you can just drag and drop files through the WeTransfer website. 
and we'll navigate to where that is in the DVD folder. There's the video underscore TS folder and then another video underscore TS folder that has a zipper on it. So we'll just double click that and then we figure out who we're going to send it to. I'll just send it to myself for now. You can send a message if you want and then hit transfer and then it'll send. Now the reason why I like to use WeTransfer versus Dropbox for sending large files, there's kind of two main reasons. The first reason is um, if you send something by Dropbox, you have to first upload it to at least your Dropbox and I know you can then send like a download link uh, that won't take up space on someone else's Dropbox, but if you share it, it's going to now take up space on two people's Dropbox and so like a lot of people they use the free version for work and so they're already running low on space so I try not to clog up people's Dropbox accounts with video files. So that's the first reason I'll use a sending service. The second reason is I've always had a hard time even no matter what level of Dropbox service you subscribe to Dropbox has a hard time with files that are really large. Um, so anything over a gig I always feel really nervous about sending via Dropbox. And so that's the other reason why I don't use Dropbox and I use something like WeTransfer. Now once you've already sent it, then you see you have these two video underscore TS folders. You can go ahead and delete the zip version. It's amazing how many times I go to help a client and I kind of look at their files and they've got a zip folder and then all the contents of the folder unzipped multiple times because people don't realize kind of what's happening. But that's how you would send a DVD electronically. Make sure you're sending the entire video underscore TS folder and everything that's inside it, even if it looks like garbage. If there's an, sometimes there's an audio underscore uh, TS folder, send that as well. It might have nothing in it. It might just be an empty folder. If it, if it is, just send that to um, whoever's receiving it. If there's nothing in it, nothing bad's gonna happen, but there might be something in there that they might need. It might not make sense, but when you're trying to convert something from a DVD, the kind that plays like on a set-top box, to a file that'll play on a computer, um, it's gonna be really important. So that's just a quick video on how to get uh, your DVD from a disc onto your computer and sent to someone else if you ever need to send it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment. I'd love to talk to you guys down there.